This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? We got some Sega news. Shoutouts to Sonic Stadium for this information. The game's comm embargo for Sonic Superstars has been lifted. Our own preview will come in a little bit later today, but we played the multiplayer co-op mode and found it quite fun. We played new stages like Pinball Carnival and Cyber Station for the first time. Here are some screenshots. Yes, yeah, so you're looking at the screenshots right here of these uh, these extra zones, obviously, and it made sense that, that uh, they all had to deal with an embargo because, again, there was no new uh, gameplay or anything like that, which you saw at the kiosk booth at uh, Gamescom, so there was really no reason to really talk about anything. Like I said, only, only credible... Uh, only credible people that close to Sega uh, can access the game, but they can't show g gameplay footage until the embargo period is lifted. I think that's the way Sega is doing things uh, for the foreseeable future ever since Frontiers. Like, yes, they'll get gameplay footage. They know what's going on behind the scenes, but they're not allowed to showcase uh, footage uh, to everyone until the embargo is lifted. That's perfectly understandable. This is interesting right here when you think about it. So that's pretty dope right there. I mean, the multiplayer is so much fun. And Pinball Carnival is a is a uh, manic, as you would expect, from a pinball-style Sonic level. Because, of course, they always have to add pinball and casino gimmicks. But that's interesting. They add bumpers and flippers and uh, awesome gimmicks, as you would like to see from Carnival Night Zone. So these are fun images here with fun concepts. Uh, love the layouts, and they look pretty dope. You know, again, everyone, let me know what you think about the uh, multiplayer footage as what you're seeing so far. I understand the Sonic uh, Superstars will come out October 17. Let me know if you're picking up the game uh, that day. I know a lot of you are still hesitant on the game, and I know a lot of you are still uh, uh, not sure about the $60 price tag. You think that may be too much. That may be, you know, you know, that, you know, like compared to Frontiers, is that even in the borderline? of even buying the game and my answer is uh well yes i'm gonna make a full analysis uh breakdown video on that at a later date should you buy uh, sonic superstars and like i said don't believe what you're hearing from all these other negative people who are saying oh don't buy this game it's nothing more than a cheap cash grab for 60 dollars so don't listen to those kind of people i'll make a full analysis breakdown i'll give you the honest truth and you'll go from there and I will review the game once uh, the game is released to a lot of you who want my honest thoughts on it. That I can guarantee you. Other than that, let me know what you all think about this. And I gotta go. Peace out.